I'm Kendrick Scott, I play the drums, and I've been in the SF Jazz Collective for three years now. Horace Silver wrote Cape Verdean Blues, and Stefan Harris did the arrangement. The tune itself, Cape Verdean, is already a groovy tune, and I just love the way Stefan paid tribute to the melody and put in some little funky things in there as well. A Shade of Jade by Joe Henderson was arranged by Ed Simon. Ed always has these very expensive arrangements and, and you can go many directions in them, but they all have like this rhythmic core. And I just really love that because Shade of Jade had its own rhythmic core when it was in four, kind of straight ahead, but Ed put it in 12-8 in and it has a whole different vibe to it. So Superstition by C.V. Wonder, arranged by Miguel, is one of my favorites. It's just so many surprises in there. It takes you to a, a place as a musician, but also as a non-musician, you can kind of feel something uh, is brewing there as well. Throw It Away, written by Abby Lincoln, one of my favorite Abby Lincoln pieces. The philosophy of if something belongs to you, you don't have to hold on to it, just throw it away. That whole process of uh, surrender is, is again something that I try to live my life by. That was my first collective arrangement. I like it, I'll get better, but I like it. <laughs> All Blues by Miles Davis, arranged by Ed Simon. It's hard to uh, get the music to flow when you're writing in odd meter sometimes. And I felt like he found the perfect way to write it and to make it feel like the, the shape shifts, but you still feel like, oh, okay, we're still in here. But if you're a non-musician, you're like, oh, something's different, but I still feel the core. Tune for June by Matt Penman. It's a beautiful song for me because I am like totally drawn to lyrical melody. And that's one of the most beautiful melodies that has come out of the collective. It's a beautiful melody. <laughs> So the name of my piece that I wrote for this year's collective residency was called Land's End. And it's dedicated to the place here in San Francisco. It's always something there when I go that just catches me and I, and I have to just stay still for a moment. And I think in life, we have to have those moments that, that remind us that we're just a drop of water in the ocean of life. And so when I go and I walk on Land's End, it reminds me of the endless nature of, of life, whether we're here in physical form or not.